Measure 101 passed statewide and in Jackson County. Supporters say it means more people will get the health care they need. The results of the election are tonight's top story at 5. Measure 101 approves temporary taxes on insurance companies, some hospitals and other managed care organizations. The money from the taxes will help fund health care for low-income individuals and families. Across the state, the measure passed with 61% of the vote. In Jackson County, the margin was a little closer. It passed with 58% of the vote. It didn't get as much support in Josephine County, failing by 4%. Those who will benefit from the vote say they hope everyone will eventually feel like passing the measure was the right thing to do. NBC 5's Nikki Torres is here with more on that. Nikki? Kristen, I spoke with the CEO of Jackson Care Connect today. The organization was hoping for a yes vote, and that's exactly what it got. The CEO says everyone in the office has been celebrating since last night's news. The Coordinated Care Organization serves more than 30,000 members annually of all ages. Its CEO says she was confident in the county voting yes to Measure 101, but with Jackson County's high population of Medicaid clients, knowing what was at stake gave the organization some anxiety. To see our county in particular and our state as a whole come together and support the members that we serve and really say that all of our neighbors need continued health care is a great victory for us. Jackson Care Connect says the biggest goals it's focusing on this year is adding and sustaining partnerships it has with neighboring organizations in the community. The CCO also says it's working to add a variety of supports for its members beyond health care, including, including rather housing, food and exercise. Live in studio, Nikki Torres, NBC5 News.